From the start, Steely Dan has been noted for the impeccable production and sonic clarity of their albums. Working with like-minded producers and engineers, Becker and Fagan have wrested the same level of perfection from recording technology that they've achieved with their music. It was amazing that when the thing got done, finally I could see what everything was going to be like. Um, but they knew from the from the very beginning. What a shame about me. Hey, thanks a lot. Uh, I'd like to thank the Tech Awards and Mix Magazine um, for this. Uh, especially like to thank uh, uh, Roger Nichols, who was uh, with us from the very beginning, and it was really it was a collaboration in, uh, between uh, Roger and uh, the musicians uh, and ourselves, you know, to uh, come up with the you know the sound that that you know made us sound good. And uh, thanks very much. Boy, this is a great honor, and uh, uh, I have some bad news for uh, Larry. That was 1975. What did I say, 85? Yeah. But I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> and uh, and, and uh, just to say that, you know, if it were true that we were the guys that raised the bar, uh, Larry and Roger and uh, Elliot Shiner and uh, Bill Schnee and Dave Russell are the guys that jumped over the bar. So, thanks to them. I'd like to thank the bass player, too, over here. <laughs> oh, no. If we'd had workstations instead of splicing blocks when Roger and I started out, we might have been able to leave the studio once or twice a year. And I'd have more fingers. The nominees in the, core, the category of workstation technology are the Avid Technology AudioVision 3. Gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Walter Becker and Mr. Roger Nichols. <laughs> so, you're first. Listen, I just want to announce that uh, Roger and I have decided we're going to open a uh, school for recording engineering in Hawaii. It's going to be the Steely Dan uh, School of Recording Engineering. Each semester will be 18 months long. <laughs> there are, there's only going to be 10 students each semester, and the fee will be $500,000 a piece. Yeah. And we'll be, we'll be taking enrollments over at uh, table 56. So. <laughs> OK. <laughs> the uh, nominees in the category of Outstanding Remote Recording Facility have all put in more miles. On I also wanted to say that uh, the recording school we're going to start, the, the, fee, <laughs> the fee may seem a little bit high, but it includes a scuba certification for every one of our students. <laughs> Sailboarding. Now we're, now we're at the third and final category. Here to present the first awards in the category of outstanding technical achievement is a recording engineer who has twirled the knobs for Steely Dan and Ricky Lee Jones, among others, and is currently working on Donald Fagan and one of the founding fathers of the modern recording industry, former president and founder of SPARS, and today launched the World Studio Group and International Audio Affiliation. Please welcome two of my close and I mean this from the most sincere spot in my heart, man. Close personal friends, Roger Nichols and Chris Stone. He's one of these guys, you know, he's one of your best friends, but you don't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time. I, me too. You're up. Okay, the most 